Is that the word sand? Bro. <coughs> hey everyone, Stephen, Stephen here once again. Today I want to talk to you about things that, go, that will enter the public domain in 2029. Now, keep in mind, this only applies to the United States. Public domain is different, different depending on your country. So bear in mind, I'm about to say a certain, a certain film or character. Depending, again, depending on your country, it may or may not be in the public domain come, 20, come 2025. So with that out of the way, let's talk about it. As far as characters go, I would say the biggest ones that we entered the public domain um, in 2025 will be Popeye the Sailor and uh, Buck Rogers. Yes, Dimple Theater is in the public domain here, here in the United States, but it only applies to the strips before Popeye came into the picture, with Olive Oil, Oil her family, and uh, her boyfriend at the time, Ham Gravy. Just to point that out. Now, as for films, Probably the probably some of the more, more noble films that's entered the public domain next year includes, but not limited to Spy, Mar Spy Marriage, which was a life feature link film directed by Buster Keaton, along with sound debut of Harold Lloyd, Welcome Danger. Also the first sound film in color also the first sound film in color on with the show. And the first film featured all black cast in Hollywood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also, the second, also the Oscar winning picture that, of the year, the Broadway melody, along with the sound versions of Playing, Playing Crazy, the Galvin Gaucho, and the first batch of Disney's Silly Symphonies. And that also includes all of the Mickey Mouse shorts that were copyrighted for 1929. Now, as for books, they include Ernest Hemingway's A Farewell to Arms and the English version of It's All Quiet, All Quiet on the Western Front. Plus the, four, plus, 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 plus the first part of the 14th edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica. Now, songs that were published in 1924, or 29 rather, includes Ain't I Misbehaving, Am I Blue, Barnacle Bill the Sailor, Sing in the Rain, Sing in the Bathtub, For the Song of My Heart, and Happy Days Are Here Again. Now, at some point, we'll go into more detail about these but for all this, but I do want to give you at least a brief rundown of what's going to be in the public domain next year. Now, songs that were recorded in 1924 includes It Ain't Gonna Rain No More by uh, uh, Wendell Hall, California Here I Come by Al Johnson, Sleep by Fred Rearing, Rhapsody in Blue, both parts by Paul Reitman. Uh, Ted Heems, Somebody Stole My Gal, and um, It Had to Be You by, by Marion Harris. So, if you saw my script, sorry about that, folks. But yeah, basically, in a nutshell, those are some of the pro properties in film, literature, and music that will go into the public domain in 2029, uh, 25. Again, that only applies to those in the United States. Different copyright laws, well, it depends on, on, on the country. Some of it may be a public domain already in your country, some may not be. Or some won't be the public domain next year in your country. But again, this only applies to United States copyright laws only. And, well, that's about it. If you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, you know the routine. And to hit the bell for notifications of where I post the next video, whether it be original content or public domain material.
And we're just to Steven once again, and, uh, well, that's something to say, but I'll see you next time. Bye!